The Los Angeles Lakers. Give me your thoughts on Bobby Hurley. No, Bob, Danny, Bobby, Danny, Bobby. Danny Hurley, the real coach in that family now. The head of the family now. He's the head of the table. Danny Hurley just recently told the Los Angeles Lakers and told LeBron James to go suck a dick. Kick rocks. You can tell LeBron James. He told LeBron James to suck his dick. He said he I'm was... not going to be your assistant coach. He said he wanted to play for LeBron. He wanted to play for LeBron? Yeah. He, he wanted to play for LeBron. He was going to put on the jersey now. Too. He wanted to coach. He wanted to coach. He wanted to coach with LeBron. Hey, I, I'm going to give you my thoughts real fast, and you tell me what you think. Yeah, go ahead. They offered him 60 or $70 million. So the Los Angeles Lakers are out of their goddamn minds. How cheap can you be? So How cheap How can you be? Huh? Six, year, six years. Six 70? years, $70 million. It's about $11 million, a little bit over $11 million a year. That's the sixth highest paid coach. I don't give a fuck. But you got to pay him first. I don't, I don't give a fuck. You what, what, what? Kurt what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Are you on a budget? You have a budget? You just fired Darvin Ham. But, uh, you just fired. You know what Darvin Ham was making? $5 million a year. I'm not paying the coach. Coach, Danny uh, Hurt, you new coach to come in. Well, here's here's what you look like now. You look like shit. You look like crow. You just got dumped on by the bird flying over your head. You were walking down the street, the bird just took a shit on your shoulder because you invited him to L.A. He's in L.A. You let him leave without a commitment. That's like recruitment 101. Like who 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 educated y'all on recruiting people? Because in college football. That five star, you don't want that kid to leave without committing to you. Now he may commit and then decommit and then whatever else, but you want a commitment. How in the world do you let your number one see this is also the part of the problem. You let your number one target, it got out publicly. And this is something we discussed. You don't typically know when a coach turns a job down. It's not broadcast. Not to it's not it's not from page of ESPN.com. When he's offered the deal, and then another, two days later, published again front page of ESPN.com when he turns down the deal. Jeannie Buss looks bad. The Lakers organization looks bad. Real bad. And now you're searching for a coach, and you're sitting here saying that you want to have a coach before the draft on June 26th. Are you going to now... Is, see, now J.J. Redick, who is... LeBron's assistant on his podcast. They work together. He's his assistant. Strategically done. Why would J.J. Redick now want that job? Because now the world knows that you're sloppy seconds. So what? So you never... So you never... So, but then, again, I'm, I'm telling you, if it wasn't publicly known, it's different. You, you it's different. You've been sloppy seconds to, to somebody before and you've been okay with it? Every... Somebody got publicly, to publicly somebody. known sex. Everybody can't. Nick, Nick, let me ask you what. Nick, Nick, you ever dated a girl that your your boy dated before? No. Exactly. But Bob, exactly, Dan, exactly. Dan, you never dated a girl that your boy dated before you because you're sloppy sex. If you don't know the person, you ain't sloppy sex. Is Danny Hurley JJ Reddick boy? No. No, but JJ Reddick is LeBron's boy. Okay. They do a well, podcast together. Okay. This is a this is the major leagues. This is. The the association, this is the top level. If you don't get the job, or I mean, if somebody else don't get the job and there's an opportunity for you, even if you're second, you take the, the job and then you, you go out why, there. Like why, you take, know, why, why would he take the job? You, you go out there like like you're the best and you make it happen. You make it happen. All his excuses and whining, that's, that's, that's bitch shit. I don't care about How that. How is that man. bitch shit? I'm, I'm saying that's, that's, that's girly crying stuff man booty it's okay girly cry- how is it girly crying last i checked the WNBA is more masculine than the nba so well, i don't know how is that girly crying stuff what i'm talking you know what i'm talking about no yeah. i'm i really don't because most coaches situations so, when someone so, turns down so a nobody, job so, no one knows about it so nobody should be the lakers coach ever then because anything. no right now look who their you see who their candidates are so anybody going to be candidates are james borrego from the so Hornets. Everybody's going to be sloppy seconds. 
I'm not, but you're not. Yeah, now. So but, oh, I'm not. But, J, but JJ Reddick has a different relationship with LeBron James than say James Borrego out of the Charlotte Hornets. James Borrego, who the hell is he? Who is he? That's the, Again, that's who is he? Is this what we're doing? Are we gonna Are we gonna play that game? The Lakers are the Lakers. The Lakers should be making a splash coaching hire. They should have offered Danny Hurley six years, $120 million, $20 million a year. He's moving his family across the, pond, across the country. He's a, new, he's a Northeast guy. His family's in the Northeast. He's going to get paid now by the Yukon Huskies you don't, you over don't, $11 million a year, dude. You don't make that commitment to, to, to. He's going to. Why not? Not to somebody to come Why not? Be, no, you don't want to make that type then of Why were you offering him a job to begin with? He's a college think, coach who you does not. Could, you think he could be that guy, but when everybody gets to that level, that don't mean they're going to be that guy. That no, I don't think he. Here's the thing. I don't think he could be that guy. No, I said the, the Lakers think he's going to be that guy, but you still have to have some cautionary about the whole when you go into. Cautionary? Any, why? You just embarrassed yourself. You, 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 you look stupid. No, you, you don't look just, so you look should, incompetent so as a should franchise. Get paid more than Steve Curry should be getting paid than Eric Spolstra. Who cares? Trevor Lawrence has got two hundred and seventy-five million dollars. He hasn't won a what, but one playoff game. No way. Uh, you live with the results. You want to go? You don't want to come here. Oh, okay. Here. So Trevor Lawrence has got two seventy-five for five years. Okay. You want to stay at UConn? You stay at UConn. I'm not giving you the time. UConn's pay, dude. We, UConn's where he's at. He won two ba- two national championships. In dominating fashion, no I less. Get that. He has a monster class. The, UConn is good. UConn's going to pay him twelve million a year now. Okay. So what exactly was he going to go to LA for a pay cut? Where they pay twice the taxes? Yeah, I mean. Because yeah, he was making five. He was making six million a year, or whatever it was at UConn. The governor of Connecticut has said we will make Danny Hurley the highest paid coach in the country. The highest paid coach is Bill Self makes over $11 million. That means Danny Hurley is going to make $12 million at UConn, where he's guaranteed to have one of the best teams, if not the best team in the country. Damn near every year, he's going to be sitting on a, on a castle it's as my- the king and never have to worry. Like Mike Krzyzewski turned down it's, the Lakers 20 it's, years ago to this day. Rudy is not the top level of basketball. It's still- Bro. College basketball is different, man. You can't coach pros the way you coach college players. No, no, that's, that's true. That's true. That's so, why I thought the whole idea to begin with was a horrible idea. But Danny Hurley's a screamer. You, you, you thought I screamed in AAU ball? And, and you rarely scream at certain NBA players. Some of them you can't. You, you can't, have, you you can't scream at most. You think you can scream at LeBron and Anthony yeah. Davis, the two guys that will sandbag you the first interview they get? Yeah, you have to build that. You have to build it like Pop did. He, he built that with that team. So well, well, that different, different generation. That was yeah, 1997. Also, but um, Tom Thibodeau is a little bit of a... You, and, you, and what do you need from players like that? You need a dog. You need, need a Jalen Brunson. You need a Julius Randle. You need a Josh Hart. You need a Dante. Well, you Josh need Randall dogs. Like, Josh huh? Randle looks like he rolls his Julius Randle's a dog, though. He Julius like Randle... sometimes. Yeah, you know what? I still think Randall's a much more of a dog than any of those guys in LA, and and can take a whole lot more than those guys can. But you got three dogs at the Villanova who 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 re, re, they relish in that crap because yeah, they because they college coaches like that. Exactly. So that like that to, for them that's nothing. But for LeBron and Anthony Davis and those prima donnas over there, I never thought it was a good idea because I see how Danny Hurley is on the court. Can you imagine the first time Danny Hurley does one of them things he did in UConn to LeBron on the court on national television? But I mean, but you oh, I, would, I would, I would love it. You have to understand. You can't <laughs> treat everybody the same. You got to treat. But that's people. how he. But you can't change. But it's really hard. There's a reason Nick Saban was a failure in the NFL. Yeah, because you, you can't treat. <laughs> There's a reason. You want to treat everybody the same, but you can't. So uh, let's let, let's look at the college coaches. Unless, in, in, unless LeBron comes there the first day and say, "Hey, um, you can you can jump on my back in front of everybody else because if you don't do, if you don't do that if you don't do that and show that and I don't accept it in front of everybody else, nobody else is going to jump. That's on true. That's that's a hundred percent. LeBron has to be that guy from the but he wouldn't be from the moment he he won't do it. He, he won't, won't do it. Do it. 
But he will have to be the guy. Him and AD. Well, LeBron. Forget AD. AD's AD will have to take whatever the fuck happens because LeBron yeah. is the guy. He's still the guy. Always will be the guy that would never change. As long as his name is LeBron. And he's wearing that damn uniform. He'll be that guy. He'll be the best player on the team. So LeBron will have to come under the first fucking day. He'll have, he'll have to talk. He'll have to say, hey, uh, day three, you have to jump on my neck in front of everybody. And I have to sit back and take it. And once I do that, the rest of the team will fall in line. And it'll show that you're the leader of this team. And that you're the, you're you're in the front. But if LeBron doesn't do that, which he won't do that, <laughs> you know LeBron. LeBron's not doing that. It's not his. He, he's, I know. He, but he also earned it not to do that either. At this point, I mean. Oh, but it, I has he also it. earned? Has he also earned the right to disembowel his coach on in the media every time he can? You talking about Darvin? Yeah. yeah. Man, they, see, that's the thing. Why would anyone want to put themselves through that? The Lakers treated Darvin Ham like pork in a Muslim household. <laughs> you get it? Darvin Ham, pork in a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> they treated him the same. They treated, they treated Darvin Ham about the same way they treated pork in a Muslim household. They never backed him up. Nobody ever, I never heard anybody go in front of the media and say, hey, Darvin Ham is this and that. So from the get go, that that whole thing was in flux. But he did get them to the conference championship. And he did. And he did. And then it, and that wasn't enough. And it was not enough in LA. A year. Le- oh, he did win the first NBA Cup. Yeah, and they let him go after that. So obviously that cup means nothing because I just won it. I just won that the, the in mid season in December. The mid season championship, and you fired me because I don't win the end of the year championship. They just made that championship. Me, me, we made me. we made rings for this NBA Cup. What are you talking about? They made it meaningless by firing the man after he won that. Like, because look at the look at the college and college coaches for football. Nick Saban was a com- complete failure at the Dolphins. Jim Harbaugh has been the only guy that I've seen in the last forty years, besides Jimmy Johnson. Again, different generation, but Jimmy Johnson lasted four years, five years, and it was done. And they played, for, and then with the Dolphins, he didn't really do a great job. We were not that good. But Jim Harbaugh, the guy, main guy that you've seen, had that ability to cross over, probably because he was probably smoking a blunt with the college kids <laughs> and smoking a blunt with the NFL players. I don't know. I'm just making that up. I'm trying to be funny. Um, but <laughs> other than that, most of these college coaches, they're authoritarian. Like they're th- they're, they're just like authority it's, figures. It's a different so like Dabo yeah. Sweeney couldn't go in the NFL and coach. It would be a disaster. Because there is different things. So you'll be able to have to adapt to dealing with grown men and not being like the leader saying, this is how we're going to do it. And more coming together with these grown men and figuring out how to mm-hmm. do it. In college, you tell kids what to do. In the league, you have to figure out how to do it together. You tell them what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Yes. And all the, all the, all the ways to do it. No, no, no. In the NBA, you <laughs> in college, in college. In the NBA, you got to figure out how can we coexist to get it done together in a civil manner. That how I can I how can I people. stroke you off enough to make you want to do it? Yes, <laughs> pretty much. That's how it goes. In the, in and make you think you made a decision to do it. In the professional, if you're, if, you know, especially when the guy's getting paid three times as much as you or four times as much as you. Which is why they needed to pay Danny Hurley twenty million a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That might change the game. You might be right with that one right there. I just think that you can't let him leave because you're it's because if you if, if he says no to twenty million a year or let's say seventeen million mm-hmm. which would make him number one or number one two number two. If he says no to that, then he doesn't really want to be here. No, no, no. It's not about, it's not about money anymore. Yeah, yeah. But when you only offer him eleven you can say only. We only offer him eleven. You can, and UConn can get uh, NIL and get the 11. state to do stuff, and you know, finagle, have a a building fund that becomes the head coaching fund. <laughs> yeah, and their endowment is probably in the multi billions. You know, moving six million a year over to Danny Hurley to coach basketball and win you national championship for the next twenty years. Yeah, it pays for itself. I think you have to get somebody who who's gonna LeBron's gonna respect um, for the most part. Um, my person is gonna be a guy that gets shitted on and he'll be blackballed for the rest of his life. So it seems. I think Mark Jackson will be somebody who could come in and demand respect in that locker room. You know, just how his demeanor is and how he talks to him. 
but he will never get that opportunity again. I don't even know if his name is in, in the ranking anymore. I, I know who should be the coach. Who that? Because then he can draft himself. And he can play himself. Bronny James. <laughs> okay. We're getting that episode today. We're getting that episode now. He can draft. If you, if you make him the head coach, you can do it for cheap. He can make the decisions to the, for the draft. <laughs> so LeBron. He can then make himself the starting point guard. Then LeBron will be making that decision also. Okay. Did you see the funny the video that our boys at Riot Comedy did on Luca? Luca goes to LeBron and says, "LeBron, you know I don't know what to do. You know these guys. I, I'm I'm doing everything I can, and, and they're not helping. You know, well, I, you know I I had the triple. You know I had the one year where I had a, you know third. I had the most points, rebounds, and assists on both teams. And how'd that go? Well, we lost. And yeah. then I had a well, I had a then I had another season where I had a triple double in the finals. And how'd that go? Well, we lost." <laughs> So it's like, well, I have a, I have, he's like, I have a solution. You can come play for us. <laughs> and then Ronnie James says, is that my new backup point guard, Papa? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Shout out Riot Comedy. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Danny Hurley said no to Kentucky and the Lakers inside of two months. Rudy is happy as hell about that. You Rudy know how, you know, you know, you, you realize, some power right now. Do you realize how much power you have to have and how much of a freaking erection you just got as a man when you could tell LeBron. the Kentucky Wildcats and LeBron. and LeBron, the Lakers, no, in two months. That's freaking bananas to me. Sometimes it's happiness and being in the conference and knowing that the pressure. Well, you, you run the city. No, you run the city, and when you win, it'll be because of you. It won't be because of LeBron. Um, and when you lose, it won't be because of you <laughs> the whole time. So, no, if he was to lose in LA, it would be because of him. Yeah, I and mean, not because of LeBron. That's but in I mean. UConn, that's if he wins or loses, if he wins, it's because of him. If they lose, it's because of the players. It's because of the players. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was saying. So. That comfort of, you know, going to sleep knowing that. You know how you, you don't cough and turn at night when you sleep in bed like that. Like you sleep, you put your thumb in your mouth, you, and you have a real, a real joyous good night of sleep like that, man. Um, but the other the pressure and, and, you know, the exhaustion of, of being in L.A. And, and knowing that if you lose one game or two games in a row or three games, like you're on, you're, everything's, it's getting critiqued. You know, ESPN, you, you, the way you call timeouts, the way you dress, the way you walk on Rodeo Drive. Like, they're, they're into everything that you do. And just that's being worth, that's worth 20 million a year, man. And the torture of, of being, you know, that's, good on the next level. Just sometimes your happiness is more than money. Or that's you know, that's 20 million a year at least. Yeah. Let that's me ask you, where do you think Darvin Ham was living in LA? Darvin Ham was probably living in the hood. Because the house in LA is like three million dollars right now, nearly making five a year, <laughs> and ha and half that crap went to taxes. Oh, so, yeah, so two point three. So he ended up, you know, he took a job with as an assistant now with the Bucks. I thought Doc Rivers would get fired. No, they're gonna keep this guy. You can't fire him. Man. You're gonna keep Doc Rivers. You have to. He has to at least another half a year. <laughs> so so Darvin Ham is the is the interim coach in waiting. Well. Yeah, Darvin. I mean, he was there before. So he was there before. Yeah. He is used to the players. So we'll see how this goes. Man. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.